Hey Savvy people, it's Savvy Nick here and today we are going to do some Bash Shell scripting. We'll be using the things that we've learned in previous episodes and create a script that automatically deletes the contents of your trash bin at a certain time interval. I'll go through how to create the script and explain what each line of code does. This is our first time putting together what we've learned into a script, so let's go ahead and start up a terminal. So the first time the script is used by a user, we'll go ahead and ask you where the trash bin is located and we'll expect an absolute path to the trash bin, meaning where it's located from the root directory. Of course you'll want to be careful because if you specify the wrong path there's a chance that the script will delete the contents of a directory so we'll also try to go ahead and prevent that as well. All right and the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and create a new script in my scripts directory. You don't necessarily have to have a scripts directory but I do so I'm going to go ahead and create my script in here. In order to do that I'm going to use nano today and let me just make this a little bigger for us to see. I'm going to call this the clean bin.sh script. And in this script, we'll go ahead and start scripting. If you need help setting up a new shell script, make sure to check out my first video in the series where we talk about what bash shell scripting is and how to create your first script. All right, so the first thing that we need is the magical line that lets us use bash. So we will do here user bin bash. Now yours might be located in a different directory. Of course, watch that first video if you need help with this. Also, if you're new and stopping by to watch a scripting video today, please make sure to subscribe below and hit the notification bell for more videos. All right, and with that being said, let's go ahead and create a new variable. I'm gonna call this the path to bin, and this is the variable that's gonna store our path to our trash bin. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and use an if statement. So it kind of goes like this, if, then, I'm gonna have an else in here, and then we're gonna end the if statement by doing fi. So the first thing I'm gonna work on is this else statement. So I'm just gonna echo out something like, please enter a path to your trash bin. So after that, we would expect to go ahead and read in a path. We're just going to read path to bin is the variable that we defined above up here, and it's going to get replaced by whatever it reads in from the console and takes in from the user. So the user is gonna type in a path, and we're gonna read in that path and store it somewhere. All right, so if we wanna store that path somewhere, what better way to do it than to go ahead and put it in another file? So let's do a quick check here. Let's do a if dash D, and then we'll take the path to bin variable. Check that out to make sure that this directory does exist. If it does exist, then let's go ahead and echo out path to bin, so that's the variable that we're using, into a new file. And we'll call that the binpath.db. So I'm just putting a db at the end to call it a database. You can call it whatever you want, it really doesn't matter. Just make sure to use it throughout the script. Else, let's just echo something, and that echo is going to be, well, the path doesn't exist. And of course, we'll wanna make sure we close out our if statement from up here. So if here, and then we have fi to end it. So we have if this is true, then we echo out a path to a new directory. Otherwise, else we echo out that the path doesn't exist. And all this dash d does is check if the path actually exists on the system. It's a nice and convenient way to go ahead and verify before we go ahead and pull in the path that the path actually exists on the system. Otherwise, what's the point of trying to delete files? All right, so we got something very simple here. We'll go through it once more. If the user initially goes through here, and we'll make something here in this if statement soon, but at the very first time the script is ran, it's going to echo out, hey, please enter your path to your trash bin. We're gonna go ahead and read that path to bin variable in from the console. Then we'll check if that variable lines up and that path exists. If it does exist, we'll go ahead and supply that path into a new file called binpath.db. Otherwise, we will go ahead and just tell them, hey, look, that path doesn't exist and exit out of the program. So now that we have that new file that we're creating, this binpath.db, we'll go ahead and check if that path exists. So we can do that by doing test dash F, and then let's go ahead and supply the location of the binpath.db. Well, since we said we're gonna write out uh, binpathdb in the current location of wherever clean bin.sh is located, we can simply say, hey, here, we're looking for binpath.db. So wherever clean bin.sh is located, that's exactly where binpath.db should be created. Therefore, we're gonna look in that same location. So if it does exist, then we should go ahead and do something here. Else, we'll know it's the first time running the script 
Therefore, we'll go through this section. All right, so what are we gonna do if it does exist? Well, we can read in something else and we'll read in the file to the path to bin variable. So this time, if we do detect that this exists, we'll go ahead and read in our variable path to bin from a file. And you can guess what file that is. That's the same file where we have the bin path located called binpath.db. Then we'll just echo out the path to the bin so the user can see what gets deleted. And just for safety purposes, I'm gonna do remove dash RF and then I'm gonna take the path to bin. So that's the path given to the trash bin according to the user and add in files, which is another directory that we're searching for and put a star so it deletes everything in the directory. It's a wild card. So we'll do the same thing with removing files from the info directory. And I'll show you what this looks like in just a moment, but let's go through this one more time here. So we're gonna test and see if a file exists in the same directory as clean bin.sh. If it does, we're gonna go ahead and read in that file. After it, we're gonna echo out the contents of that file. So it's really just reading in the first line up here. Then we're gonna go ahead and remove files from two folders, which if everything's done right, it's going to be the trash bin. So the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and save this. If you went ahead and made it this far, please hit the like button, it really does help me out. All right, let's go ahead and search for that trash bin. So normally the trash bin, at least here on Ubuntu 2004, is going to be located starting from the root directory we're gonna go into home, the current user, so mine's Savvy Nick. It's gonna be in dot local, share, and then in share, you should find trash with a capital T here. And now I see that I have files and info. So this is what I was talking about earlier inside of our program. We have files and info being looked for. Otherwise, it's not gonna delete anything. So it's just a little bit of safekeeping. If you put in the wrong directory and if files and info don't exist inside that directory, it's not gonna delete the contents of that directory. So let's go ahead and copy our location to the trash bin, and then let's go ahead and run our script. But before we can run our script, we'll have to do chmod plus x, and then call out cleanbin.sh, that way to make it executable. I'm gonna go ahead and press enter. I'm just gonna check and see if it's executable, and it sure is since it turned green. Following that, we can run the cleanbin.sh script now. But before we do that, let's go ahead and add in a couple files into the trash bin. So I'll open up my trash here, and I'll actually start another tab where I'm going to create some new files into the files directory, and I'm gonna call it new file one, file two, and three. We should have some files in our trash bin now and we do three two one new file so we can empty it here but the neat part about this script is it asks you hey where is your trash bin located and it's something that we can rerun at a certain time interval that way we don't have to clean up our trash bin every so often it's cleaned up for us without us having to do anything all right, and after creating those three files, let's check out the trash bin in order to see that we got those three files in there now. And we do, we have new file three, new file two, and new file one. And let's try running the script. So I went ahead and ran the script and it says I have some type of an error on line 16. So let's go ahead and check real quick. If I go to down to line 16, which I believe is right here. Yes, I see a problem and I just need a space here between the if and the first bracket right here. Also, I'll add in a semicolon right here so we're consistent. I'm gonna save and exit out of here and we'll give this another shot. And look at that, we're asked to please enter in a path to your trash bin. I'm gonna go ahead and paste my path in. As you can see, we have home savvy nick dot local share trash here. Of course, you'll wanna put in whatever your path to your trash bin is and then press enter. After that, let's go ahead and check and see if we made a new file, and we did, it's called binpath.db. Let's check out that binpath.db, and sure enough, it saved our input. I'm gonna exit out of here, and finally, we can check if our script works by running it once more. Remember, initializing it once asks for the location of your trash bin. The second time, it's going to delete the contents of the trash bin. So I'm looking at the trash bin here. I'll put these side by side so we can watch them. And now if I run my script, you see the contents of the trash bin got deleted. Awesome, that means you've successfully created your script. Congratulations if you did. All right, I'm gonna open up that script that we just created. So the clean 
bin.sh file. And all you need to do at this point is create a cron job using a cron tab to go ahead and do this script periodically. If you need help setting up or understanding cron tabs or jobs, check out this video that I made explaining cron tab and cron jobs and how to use them. I'll just show you real quick how to go about doing this. All you have to do is do cron tab dash E if you have cron installed and you'll have a new entry, something like this at the very bottom and that script will run every so often based on the amount of time that you supply. I'll let you go ahead and look that up. That's really all there is to it. I'll go ahead and post a GitHub repository to the script so you can just check it out in case you need to follow along or just reference it. I hope you enjoyed this Bash Shell scripting tutorial on how to create a trash bin empty script. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions in the comments section below. Also make sure to subscribe for future videos and make sure to like the video. Thanks for watching.